and greetings, my friends. Uh, it's so great to be with you here today and to be part of this event, Backline Oceanic Global. Positive energy. My name is Jay Dave, and I'm with the Life Force Academy. And I was so excited to come and do this uh, with everyone today. Uh, because the work that's being done in starting with Backline is very close to my heart. And as, first of all, someone at the basic level that more than anything else in, in life pretty much loves music and, and, and live music and loves art and, and understands at a very experiential level the value of art in our society because of the value of art in, in my life. So anyhow, it's a blessing to be here. I have my family is, I have family in the music industry and I also know the business side of it as well and how difficult it can be and how challenging the, the touring life is. And so to take care of ourselves and to do the things, what do we do? What do we go to live music for? Because it helps us feel good and we, and we feel greater love in our, uh, in our hearts and we feel connection to others. We, we, it connects us to our own sense of creativity and inspiration. And, and that's what really this is all about, R regardless if you've ever done a type of meditation exercise, breathwork exercise uh, such as this, specifically Kundalini Yoga, Life Force Academy. The, it doesn't matter. It's a, a something anyone can try. And you can do just to see if like, uh, sometimes it's like tuning the instrument. Or sometimes uh, the wires get crossed or there's like a short circuit in the nervous system. And, the, and sometimes it's just like, all right, if you can try to like push this lever this way and push that lever this way, and then ooh, it does help. The nervous system gets more vitality. That gives more vitality to our minds. And when our mind has more vitality, then we can endure more stress without losing our genuine sense of center of who we are and what our life is all about and what the things that are, are genuinely important to us without getting sidetracked too much because of the pressure and the stress and the tremendous difficulty of living on planet Earth as a human being. And no matter what age it is, I'm sure, but particularly right now in this time, and so it's a great blessing for me to be here and to work with you, along with you, also taking care of myself. And, and to then bring in the spirit of the ocean and oceanic global and the tremendous work they are doing alongside Backline and these, the, crucial, the, the, the crucial, really, revolutions of our time of taking care of the mind, taking care of the heart, taking care of the of the the great mother of us all and and learning how uh, to to really experience ourselves is not something outside of that but we are part of that what we do to our oceans we're, we're at, at the most important fundamental level of existence we're doing to ourselves and that and that go that goes as when we can do something positive we can upload positivity into the great web. And when we can be creative and, and we can make beautiful art, it adds goodness to life. It adds creation as opposed to this other momentum of destruction that, it, that, is, that is here. And that does have momentum. But there's also a momentum of creativity, a momentum of innovation, a momentum of artistry. Uh, a momentum of compassion, a momentum of love, and that's what we're all about. That connects all of us together like this. So we're going to go on just a little journey. And I can't, I'm not going to explain all the details of everything, but just do the best that you can. It's just a short little time, about 25 minutes more. And, and, but we're going to go on a journey together of tuning our instrument, of getting into the sound current, of... Uh, of tuning into the real goodness of life, of bringing, our, bringing the fresh oxygenated air into our lungs, 
that oxygenation that comes from the world oceans. The most of our earth is the ocean. Most of our bodies are water. But we're not paying attention to these things, and we know we're not paying attention to these things collectively, because look how we're treating the oceans. We still haven't, we still haven't got rid of plastic bottles all over our concerts and so forth. We have to do that. Even though that in and of itself isn't going to make the change altogether, it's the consciousness of it that has to be strengthened so that the bigger changes do happen. And so that we do preserve life for our children and our grandchildren and ourselves because who knows, maybe we're coming back around many more times. You never know. So we're going to begin and just begin by kind of bringing your energy into your center and creating a sense of intention by, by first make a little warmth in your hands and then press the palms together nice and firmly not just like some empty ritual but like you're coordinating left and right energy systems positive and negative charge of the electrical system nervous system subtle body system left and right hemispheres of the brain, as if it's encouraging endocrines to balance and to secrete their nectars into the bloodstream. Make us feel better, make us feel happy, make us feel love. Even if our life is very difficult right now. Inhale deep through the nose. Fully exhale. Deeply inhale through the nose. And exhale. Inhale. Suspend the breath for a moment. That's keeping the breath in, but relaxing your shoulder blades, softening through the heart. Draw now the gaze, optic nerve, third eye, where the root of the nose meets your skull bone. See if you can relax your gaze there. Inhale. Keeping the posture, exhale through the nose. Another deep inhale through the nose. Suspension of the breath, suspension of the mind. Endeavoring to bring your mind into more, more equalization. Exhale. Now keep the posture and keep your endeavor of equalization, but allow the breath now to flow absolutely naturally. You can slow it down a touch if you wish, but mostly it's witnessing the organism respirate and following the breath with your mind. Challenging yourself to see how much can you follow and keep the mind's attention on the flow of the breath. Feeling your, the verticality of your spine, the tailbone connected down into the earth, the energy at the top of the head, the softness of the heart, and setting good wishes, good intention, that the work that we do be helpful not only to our lives, but also to the, li to the others of our life. And, that, and that, that is how we sustain our inner happiness. And inhale deep. Suspend the breath. And exhale. Good, now come with your hands at your ankles or shins, okay? And what you're gonna do Lifting through the chest, inhale through the nose, and back, exhale through the nose. With a rhythm and with substance, it'll be like this. You can also do these on a chair. Chair, feet flat on the floor, hands on your lap. 
Eyes closed, chin slightly in, and it's like you're lifting through your sternum. It's not a very long breath, but it's deep and, and substantive breath. You can use a cushion like Leah's doing to help lift through the chest, help your sit bones feel more connected to the earth. And you can just keep going as you are, just using the breath, creating a groove. Relax the gaze, third eye. Another 30 seconds. Keep going with the breath. and exhale so it's like neutralization of the psyche these exercises we're going in out up down left right forward back positive negative feminine masculine it's provoke provocation of the polarity and then at the very last moment of the exercise it's inhale deep suspension of the breath Suspension of the mind, it's a practice to the best of our ability. It takes a little work to feel that, but definitely it's not that difficult. It just takes some consistency. Relax the mind, relax the gaze, the third eye, and you lift root lock. That's you lifting through the pelvic floor, drawing the navel in. Hands come here like this, chest is open wide. And inhaling left, exhaling right. Good, like that. Opening up not only the physical spine, but the energy system that animates the physical body, that animates the mind, the subtle, the chi, the prana, the life force. Use the breath. to the center, inhale deep, suspension of the breath, lift of the root lock, meditate the gaze, third eye, and be like an emptied vessel, suspension, and then exhale, relax, and one more of these opening energy exercises to prepare us for our our meditation pranayama, our breathwork practice. Hands are on your knees, and as an inhale up, exhale release, like a. And if you're feeling like you can loosen up, then it's you can double time that, like. Uh, Try for a powerful breath, a relaxed mind. Inhale, and then kind of squeeze gently up the shoulders and squeeze out the tension, upper back and neck. 
Relax. Beautiful. You can gently roll your neck. Jaw relax, tongue relax. And then go the other direction. And inhale. And good job, everybody. This is fun. So have a little sip of water, if you have some. And I'm going to explain to you how this works. It's called a Kriya, type of meditation that often brings together the, a posture, the breath work, sometimes the mantra, and, and uh, uh, an optic gaze called a, a drishti in Sanskrit. So in this case, your optic gaze comes down towards the tip of the nose with your eyes slightly open. Now, if that feels too difficult for you the first time, if you're just trying this out, just close your eyes and see if you can relax the gaze into the third eye. In this case, what's going to happen is your thumb comes to what's called the mercury mound, base of your pinkies. And then the four fingers, the top portion of the four fingers pressed together and then the thumbs pressed together with the thumb endeavoring to stay kind of pressed, the t pressed into the base of the pinky. And then you hold that like a prayer mudra, center of your chest, and best as you can, keeping the forearms relatively parallel to the ground. It creates, it's a little work to hold this posture. It's not just so easy. It puts a pressure on the thumbs. It puts a pressure on the hands. It's opening meridians. More, more we could talk about that another time. For now, just give it a try. Now, what's going to happen with this is there's going to be a specific breath pattern, where we say pranayam. And so it's an eight-stroke inhale like this. And then a one-stroke exhale like a through the O-shaped puckered mouth. Okay, so the inhale is in eight strokes and it's segmented, it's a seg called a segmented breath. Eight, eight inhales to make eight strokes of your inhale to complete your inhale, like that. So once again, we'll use the rhythm. And then... And that's how we're going to do it, okay? So what I want to emphasize, though, is when you do the exhale, that it's a puckered O-shaped mouth, like, and your navel comes in. It takes some work, but you don't want the inhale too soft. It has a strength to it. So it's like, uh, excuse me, exhale. Like that. So it has a little bit of like a, like a, like a power to it. And the inhalation does as well. Like. So the breath has a power to it, but we're not trying to make ourselves tense or uptight. So we're practicing, use the, the, that kind of, that's why I like to say substantively rhythmic, because to really hit the rhythm po pocket, you'll have to give it something. And, and so that means then the, we can still be relaxed, especially once we've learned it some and can practice. Okay, so this is how the meditation goes. It's going to go for several minutes. Just do your best. You need to relax at any time. Just relax. Okay, but give it a try. Take the hands into the posture, thumb to the base of the pinky, four fingers pressed together firmly, and press the thumbs, and try like... Then
going. going. The yogis put a mantra onto your breath. Like sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma. Ma, sa, ta, na, ma. But the very sound of your breath is a perfectly great mantra. the position and through the mouth powerful exhale two more times inhale lift up through the pelvic floor perineum rectum sex organ up and in gently put the gaze third eye and then exhale inhale deep suspend Gently squeeze the spine like you're concentrating your life force into the center nervous system, central channels, consolidating, brightening the whole energy of the human body mind. Exhale. And come into meditative space. And hands seal index finger to your thumb palms facing up on the legs chest lifted and let the breath flow naturally and gently see if you can relax your optic gaze at between the two eyebrows third eye point just see if you can gently relax into that general space and then softening the heart and feeling the genuine wish you have to not have to suffer. And the genuine wish you have for your own predicament to have happiness, genuine contentment, love, fulfillment. And then as much as you can bring that feeling into your mind and body, then extend it to the others in your life. And just the same as you and I want to be happy and not suffer, also we do want that same thing for others. We truly do when we tune into it. Maybe we can't quite access that part at this moment. That's okay, but we try anyways. And 
we think of all the creatures on this planet, the four-legged creatures, the two-legged us human beings, trying to figure out life, trying to survive and thrive, the flying creatures, And just the same, they were wishing to f be free of happiness and to merge, in, uh, free of suffering and merge into happiness. And we can think of all the creatures under the oceans, all those mystical, interesting creatures at the bottom, the base of the ocean floor, and all in the coral reefs, and these exquisite colors and, and creations, mysterious and strange, and beautiful and graceful, the whale beings, the dolphin beings, the shark beings, all the unknown beings. And we can even feel that same genuine wish for, the, for these creatures, that they be, have life. And, and merge into happiness and, and to be given the chance to live. And we can feel that in our own hearts. We can feel a genuine connection. And the ocean herself, and the great mother water, she herself is a consciousness, the ocean. So just bring yourself into her space feel like you're soaring above and seeing the ocean below you and all her majesty or sitting on the beach and gazing out it goes seemingly infinitely outward and, and the power of her waves and the power of her energy her presence this is something to respect and to be humbled by that we're part of nature and to survive here, we should be humble. And to thrive here, we should really care. And take care of each other. And that we can experience this magnificent life. Even as difficult as it may be, is still tremendous, magnificent mysterious and to tune into that we find a deeper joy deeper meaning and then that will emerge in each of us uniquely in our own life and it'll be contextual for our 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 personal path of life of occupation of family of everything and the flow of dharma as we say so I want to thank you, my friends. I want to thank you for uh, being uh, with me. I want to thank very much Kendall and Backline for inviting me and the and Leah and the Oceanic Global family and everyone. And by the way, I'm very excited that Life Force Academy is uh, going to uh, work with Backline. And we, for anyone who's uh, a, a member of Backline, how, however that works, will be able to have access to our, to our Life Force Academy membership where we're doing this type of stuff all the time. It's a really cool thing, and, and I invite you to check it out if, if that uh, feels like something you're called towards. Okay, thank you, everyone. Lots of love. Enjoy the festival. So grateful to be a part of it. See, see uh, hopefully, many of you in person very soon. Uh, lots of love. But you're wired somehow. Like you have a certain you have a certain way of existing that is absolutely natural and skillful for you. It's, it's you're talented in that way. It's how your heart expresses itself. It's how you get inside of love, and how love expresses itself uniquely through you. If you have a mind, you have a mission.
If you have a mind, you have a mission. If you have a mind, you have a mission.